Blue Table fans, Spencer here with another miniature showcase for Warzone Resurrection. This time we're taking a look at the Imperial Faction. Uh, this is the stuff that Protoss sent us. It's basically the starter box and a hurricane walker. Now all this stuff was built and painted by BTP artist Mason. And guys, it looks so good. So I thought we would take a closer look and show off these incredible looking models and the great paint job that Mason did on them. All right, so the first guy we're going to look at here is the Imperial Officer you get in the kit. Uh, this can be run as a Warlord or a Lord. Uh, you could even just run him as an NCO upgrade for your trenchers. Uh, but this is a very, very cool looking model. Uh, as you can see, he is armed with a Aggressor handgun and a Chain Ripper sword. Uh, and the cool thing I, I never noticed in the pictures, I didn't notice until I was taking pictures of this myself, uh, he actually has a uh, pipe or cable or tube or whatever running to his backpack which has I guess the uh, the gas for his his chain ripper which is really cool uh, he's got the cool gas mask uh, and the level of details on these guys are just absurd uh, they've even got a little teeny tiny sculpted imperial logo on their hat uh, which is just crazy to me but yeah this this guy came out awesome uh, I especially love the paint job Mason did on him. It's a very, he went for a very classic uh, Imperial trencher feel with the grays, greens, and uh, browns. And then he gave him these really cool custom trench work bases. Uh, so you got the barbed wire and the, the wood for the trenches and then just dirt everywhere. So yeah, this guy is really awesome. Uh, he does a lot of really cool stuff in game. You can also upgrade him to have an Imperial Banner, uh, and you actually get a model with the Imperial Banner in the starter box. So you technically get two officers in this box. Uh, this guy, uh, same armament, aggressor handgun, chain ripper sword. Uh, you can't see his sword, it's hidden away somewhere. But the cool thing about this guy is this banner he has. Pulls a little bent, and it's the nature of working with resin, but uh, just really insane, uh, insanely cool banner. I love it. This thing looks so good, and you know, all, all the same praise I gave to this guy for his his amount of detail, but the banner is just a really nice touch. So uh, the way we've been running it is, you basically have this guy as your Ministry of War officer. Uh, who is your warlord, and then this guy is a NCO upgrade for one of the trencher squads, and you give him the Imperial Banner. And the cool thing about the banner in-game, uh, at least for the NCO, normally he has a rule where uh, every time him or a model in his squad kills an enemy model, he gets a ribbon token. Uh, and you can spend those to do different stuff, like give your guys better armor for a turn, or better movement for a turn, or call in... Uh, gas artillery bombardments uh, but if you pay the I believe it's 20 or 30 points for the Imperial Banner which you really should because this model is so cool looking um, if you if you pay the extra points uh, it now becomes two tokens you get two ribbon tokens every time him or a model in his squad uh, kills an enemy unit or enemy model rather which is just crazy because it means you can really rack them up pretty quick because uh, Trenchers have some pretty mean tricks up their sleeves, but this guy just adds to it because he can call in uh, Artillery strikes and stuff. So, you know, very cool Just oh, I am absolutely in love with these new Imperial models, which Kills me a little inside because I'm a Bauhaus player and I hate Imperial so much uh, Anyway, let's take a look at his squad that he can be upgraded from. Alright, so in the starter box you also get 10 trenchers. Uh, the, we have these broken up into two squads of five. They've got squad one and squad two markings on their shoulder pads, which was a really nice touch. Uh, and man, the trenchers. Oh, guys, these came out incredible. They, they look like the old trencher models, but infinitely better. And that's saying something, because the old trencher models aren't necessarily bad for, you know, for what they are and when they came out. But, 
you know, modern miniature making technology has just come so far and made these guys look incredible. Uh, you get all these cool details. Uh, their rifles are very reminiscent of the original, but a little bit sleeker. Got the gas mask. This guy's got a grenade. And they're so dynamic. I mean, you've got uh, a kneeling pair of legs, two pairs of running legs, one guy really bracing hard, and another guy that's just kind of standing. Uh, and the really sort of bracing hard legs are for this. This is the new Charger HMG miniature. Uh, and trenchers are interesting because uh, pretty much every other squad, it's like one in five models can be upgraded to take a special weapon. In trenchers, one in five models has to take a charger. So if you have a 10 man squad of trenchers, you're gonna have two heavy machine guns. And these things are like strength 14, rate of fire three. I think that just broke. Yeah, it did. It's a good thing Mason's an assembler. Um, just, it's a crazy good gun. And I really like it because they kept the, the old feel of the charger while making it sleeker, a little more streamlined, because the old one was super huge and super clunky looking. And so this came out looking a lot better. And just to give you, just to show off some of more of the detail on these guys, you know, you can see on their, their other shoulder here, they all have an Imperial logo and that's sculpted on, uh, you know, just and neat little things like they got the little shovel on their backpacks and stuff like that. So I'm really, really happy with how the trenchers came out. They look fantastic. Mesa did a great job uh, of capturing that classic feel. And I really only showed him one picture. So I don't know if he, he went back and looked up more pictures of these guys. But he got them down to a T. And I'm really digging it. And the bases, again, just look awesome. So... You get one more thing in the Imperial Starter Box, and it's a bit of a doozy. Oh, it's the cutest little tank there ever was! Yeah, you get a Greyhound tankette. Um, and it's just this, it's the most adorable little thing ever. It's just this cool little mini tank. And it's, again, it's just really neat. Uh, I like that you got the trencher piloting it, and then his backpack is sitting there. Uh, again, you got the logo on his shoulder pad and the logo on the front are both uh, sculpted detail. He's got a little one on his shoulder pad. And, and this thing's just so cool. I'm really, really in love with this thing. It's just, it's a very cool looking model and it's insanely deadly in game because it has a gas weapon. So its gun uh, works kind of like a torrent weapon in 40k where you uh, pick a point on the table within range put down the flamethrower template and then it goes from there. So it's very insane, it's deadly, uh, you know, for its diminutive little size. But <laughs> there's a small part of me every time I see this just goes, that thing can't be dangerous, it's adorable. So, you know, kudos to Pros for, uh, for really making something so cute and so deadly all at once. Uh, and hopefully this is a precursor to uh, getting some more vehicles. They, I, I believe they've mentioned the, uh, I believe it's called the, the Hedgehog Necromower, which is one of the Wolfbane vehicles. So when the full Imperial book comes out, you can expect to see more stuff kind of like this. Now, Protoss sent us one other thing uh, that I've already mentioned, and that would be the Hurricane... The Hurricane Walker! Yeah, this thing is huge. <laughs> In fact, it's so freaking big. I've had to zoom the camera out all the way and back the tripod up about an inch or two just to get all of it in frame. And that makes me so happy because this thing looks incredible. Uh, I love that it keeps the old sort of airplane cockpit with uh, the wings as the shoulder armor with the guns and legs and it looks like a hurricane walker. And this is something I've said time and time again in every Warzone video we've done. Protoss has just absolutely captured the feel and the design of these miniatures, uh, of their original counterparts. Uh, it just, and updated them and made them look so much sleeker. 
because uh, the original Hurricane Walker had the big heavy charger HMG and just to give you an idea uh, there's a size comparison between the two chargers and that's probably about how big the old <laughs> uh, the old charger on the old metal miniatures was back in the day uh, but the the old Hurricane Walker had a second machine gun this one has a gas gun and that's kind of Imperial's thing. They use a lot of gas weaponry. They're very World War I style. Uh, which is cool because, uh, you know, this year will mark the uh, 100th anniversary of the start of World War I uh, this August. Which, as a history nerd, I'm very, very excited about. I'm going to move this guy out of the way. But yeah, this thing is huge and intimidating and impressive. Uh, and you saw it in parts... On uh, our last Warzone unboxing, but seeing it all put together and painted, it's just... Oh, again, I hate saying how good these look because I really don't like Imperial, but... And this is probably one of the best models in the line so far. Without a doubt, this has to be my favorite model. I'm really happy with the upgrade they did to the Vulcan Battlesuit uh, for my Bauhaus army, but... God, guys... Just just take this in for a second at how insanely massive this is because there's a dude standing next to it. I mean, it's huge. It comes on its own custom-made resin 80mm base. The thing is just insane. And it's littered with cool little details like the back, uh, the power plant here is all sorts of detail. It's got all these pipes and, and exhaust ports and stuff. And you got all these cables here and vent. Uh, you know, again, you've got a nice sculpted Imperial logo. You've got this radioactive logo up here. Uh, the gas gun looks incredible. You got these little uh, hazard hazmat logos, I believe. If somebody knows what those actually are, please feel free to correct me. You got another little radioactive symbol up there. Uh, and the legs, you know, all the detailing you expect, you've got little spring pistons and stuff like that, and they just, oh man, looks so good. And I, yeah, you can see it on this camera. Uh, you got all these rivets all over the place, and it's so juicy, and I love it. And, oh, guys! Uh, if you play Imperial or you're thinking of playing Imperial, get one of these. It's so unbelievably awesome. And it's just, it's a hefty model and it really just ties together an Imperial faction so well. Alright guys, thanks for joining me, checking out these awesome Imperial miniatures from Protoss. A big thanks to Protoss for sending these to us. Huge thanks to Mason for building and painting them. You can, in the very near future, expect to see these on Battle Report because these things are awesome, and I'm sure Mason really wants to play with more, play with them more, uh, since he's only gotten one game in with them so well. Yeah, he's only gotten one game in with them so far, and he hasn't gotten to use the walker yet. So be sure to keep it here to BTP for more Warzone Resurrection uh, showcases and. We'll be doing tips and tactics videos for it and battle reports and all that good stuff. And if you're interested in getting a Warzone Resurrection Army painted by Blue Table Painting, send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com. Talk to Steve. He'll get you set up. He'll get you all the prices. And guys, you will not be disappointed in what you get because these are fantastic miniatures. And so far, everything our guys have done have come through looking awesome. So again, if you're interested in getting a project for Warzone, send an email to projects at bluetablepainting.com. Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you got your inspiration for the day, and I'll see you later.